Right, welcome ladies and gentlemen to my review of the Iron Claw. So I watched this last night and I wanted to sit on it, just think about it, and then give you my review today. This film was beautiful. It's a beautiful, beautiful film. It's tragic. Uh, it tells the story of the Von Erich family, the greatest wrestling family in history, essentially. The most tragic wrestling family in history. Now, I think a lot of people may be put off because it has a wrestling background, potentially. I don't know. Very, very similar, actually, if you're going to compare it to reaction from audiences and their lack of sort of intent to go to Ford versus Ferrari, because people thought that, that film uh, it was also called Le Mans something uh, in other countries. They thought that film was a car film, and it's not. You know, it's a character piece, but with obviously cars and the story about cars and that journey as the backdrop. Uh, and it's the same here, you know. You, you, obviously, you can't separate the Von Eriks from wrestling. You can't. But it's not necessarily about their wrestling, right? You're not watching them, you know, get bulked up and train and all of that. It's, it's the character study behind it. It's a brutal character piece. So I've, I've been really keen to watch this film for some time. It's actually one of my most anticipated films of this year. And I say this year because it's only just come out in the UK. Um, which is a massive disservice. I don't understand why they couldn't secure a, a, you know, a worldwide release. It's an A24 film, uh, but it was picked up by Lionsgate in the UK. I don't know if it was Lionsgate that did the distribution in the States. But this film is, is absolutely amazing. If you, if you haven't watched it in your stateside, yeah, and you can still watch it in theatres, you must. You, you really must. If you're in the UK and you're keen to watch it, or you're umming and ahhing, go watch it. You won't be disappointed. This film, when we talk about snubs with awards, this film absolutely unequivocally has been snubbed at the awards season. Uh, this deserved multitude of nominations. Like, absolutely unequivocally. The thing which initially leaped out to me when I was watching this film, you know, aside from all of the acting and stuff like that, which we'll get to in a minute, was just how absolutely incredible the cinematography was, right? The cinematography is stunning, stunning, beautiful, absolutely fantastic. And then they've managed to edit this in a way and do color grading where it's just chef's kiss. It is the best. I haven't seen a film with color grading this good for God knows how long. I genuinely can't remember when I last saw a film with colour grading as exceptional as this. And that might be lost on some people, I don't know, but I'm sure a lot of you guys that watch my channel really do like and appreciate these technical aspects of filmmaking. It was it was incredible. It was incredible. Now, this stars uh, Zac Efron, Jeremy Allen White, multitude of other people, of course. But let's focus on Zac Efron, for instance. Zac Efron's an interesting character as an actor. He sort of rose up as a bit of a... I wouldn't necessarily say a bit of a joke, but he certainly wasn't serious by any stretch of the imagination. I don't think people really considered him a serious actor. And if you don't consider him a serious actor, you should watch this. My God, does that man put in a stellar performance. Now, obviously, body transformation was unbelievable and yet yeah, loads of people will point to roids and these kind of things it doesn't matter no matter how jacked up on gear you are that's still an incredible body transformation which people couldn't do in everyday life even if they were taking everything under the sun the dedication that he put in to change his body to represent the embodiment of kevin von eric amazing absolutely amazing but it's his performance that is the best you know, he put in such a good performance as uh, Kevin Von Erich. Genuinely, absolutely amazing. It was so, so... There's a lot... It's, it's a complicated performance. There's a lot of nuance behind it. Subtleties. Uh, this sort of quiet, controlled man, which, you know, clearly dealing with quite a lot of, lot of issues in life. Brilliant, brilliant performance. Jeremy Allen White, who played Kerry Von Erich. Brilliant. I really like Jeremy Allen White. Uh, sort of came to know him from The Bear. If you haven't watched The Bear, 
you absolutely should watch The Bear. It's a great show. Uh, and he is great, really intense. He plays very, very intense characters very, very well. And I'd like to see him, you know, branch out a little bit and play other things. Uh, but he is great at what he does. And he plays a very, very intense Kerry Von Erich in this. The whole story is just so incredibly tragic of this family. You know, their father, the Iron Claw, uh, wanting with all might and drive to get that NWA World Heavyweight title belt in his house. And he essentially stop at nothing because he puts all of his family to one side for that goal. He doesn't really care. Um... But, I mean, an argument could be had for him caring in some way, but he's certainly not a model father by any stretch of the imagination. I mean, the tragedies that the Von Erichs went through were just... Yeah, it's like something out of a soap opera. But when you when you think that this is truly someone's life, it's tragic. It's really, really tragic. And that father is at the centre of most of it, to be fair. And there's, so, there's some key poignant moments in this story which are delivered so expertly by Zac Efron. You know, when he's explaining to Pam, uh, played expertly as well, his new date, I guess, and future wife and mother of children, how he, what, what does he want in life? To be with his family. You know, he just wants to be with his family. There's nothing greater than that. There's nothing greater than just just being with his brothers beautiful when you then tie that into the tragedies that this family went through boy oh boy like those the 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 lines which you would have seen before they hit so much harder when you watch how it all played out it's brutal it's really brutal but again just so so incredibly well done uh, and everything was really well done. So even from, you know, let, let, let's let's cut back from the performances. Let, let's talk about how they choreographed all the wrestling and things like that. I thought that was really well done. I think they did a really, really good job. They did a really good job of cap capturing the spirit uh, of all of that. Cap Ric Flair makes an appearance. Obviously not Ric Flair. Um, but some are pretending to be Ric Flair makes an appearance. And, it, and it's all just so well done. But not... If this was handled by anyone else anyone else did this I think they would have turned this into a bit of a joke they would have upped the theatrics this was handled with such sincerity and care and it's truly a phenomenal film and it and it really has been snubbed I don't tend to mouth off about snubs at the Oscars and things like this but looking at the other films that came out and this this truly truly was snubbed it's a great film and it's powerful and i would strongly recommend anyone to watch it i don't think you'd be disappointed i think you'd have a very very good time it's quite long but it doesn't feel long the pacing works very very well because it's a character piece and you want to know what happens you want to know what goes on in these people's lives you want to know you know what it just captures you it's a great film strong recommendation Strong recommendation from me. So if you've seen it, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Let me know down below. Please do drop it there. Uh, if you want to stay up to date on my initial thoughts on movies, you can follow me over on Twitter at Mr. H Reviews. Uh, you can give the video a like and a share. That'd be great. Hit subscribe if you're new here and you enjoyed this review. Cheers, guys. Take care. Bye-bye now.